reminder this time of the year is to make sure that no one is being left behind in any vehicle. This can be a simple mistake. When life gets busy and kids can fall asleep going unnoticed in the back seat, this is the cause of around 38 child deaths per year. News 3's Morgan Rydell spent some time with first responders today as they show us just how quickly the inside of a car can heat up. I'm out here at Bryan Fire Station 1, joined by Chris Lamb. It's about noon right now, so it's not as hot as it's going to get today, but it is pretty hot. Chris, can you tell me a little bit about what we're going to be doing today? Yeah, so we're, we are going to be doing a little experiment. Uh, obviously, I don't advise people to try this at home, but we do have paramedics outside of the vehicle just for safety reasons. But the goal is to show you how rapidly the heat rises. So the second you shut your door and close up your windows, turn your engine off, within the first 10 minutes, that max heat range that you can get in your car, 80% of that max heat range happens within the first 10 minutes. So time is of the essence of not forgetting your kids and your pets in the car. And it's already, yeah. you can just feel it blanketing you. It's a blanket. So we waited and waited, but we had already overheated the GoPro and our temperature gauge was maxed out. Three, three to yeah, five minutes. Not even. And you know, normally, you know, 60 to 100 is a normal heart rate. So wow. just a few minutes that we've been in here, and you can see we're both very sweaty. <laughs> Your body's already trying to compensate. This is when a child would begin showing signs of heat stroke. This includes excessive sweating, heavy breathing, and dizziness or nausea. So I would suggest yeah. we go ahead and get out of the yeah. car just because we're sweating and Absolutely. we want to make this safe. Then we used a thermal gun to do one final temperature check. 164. There it is. That's crazy. And you know, it's amazing how much fluid you lose during when you're sweating like this. You know, I think I mentioned this before, but I like, you know, everybody should drink water before and after an event. And then you need to drink a liter of water every 10 minutes that you're doing it because you can see you just lose way more than you realize. Experts encourage parents to leave an item like a shoe, purse, or even their keys in the back seat. This way, there's always an extra reason to check and make sure nobody's in there before leaving the car outside. In studio, Morgan Rydell, News 3.